No, very few people thought they would be in the hunt, um, but they, they managed to win games. SGA, as they call him, is an outstanding player, but they play as a unit. It's From three-point range. And it's been almost as consistent as anybody. This is the guy. He traveled with the ball, but they didn't call it. Before. They've got to stay in position. You almost have to play him a little bit. Like, he doesn't shoot it as far out. Chris, he's like Durant. Because the backboard is in the, on, the, on the court. Back at the paces really quickly. It's SGA who got a basket. These are two very young basketball teams. And when you're young, what you do with a team? You run. The thing that SGA does, and this is where Ben Mather is. A 137-134 loss Tuesday to Charlotte, a team that's been playing very, very well. As Gilgis Alexander hits the free throw, and now a mess. For Buddy Heald, he had a streak of 175 games come to an end with his last two games where he was out due to illness. He's only missed five games. Did a nice job taking advantage of SGA, who's not tall. He's long, but he's not tall. See, when he comes at you like this, you got a problem. By nature, showing some other aspects of this game. Yeah, on Wednesday night, we saw both War and Matherin throw alley-oops, and that's a foul on Jackson. See, there's a lot of respect between Benedict Matherin and Lou Dort. JJ, I'm glad you're not a doctor. He's breaking his ankle. Played at Arizona State. Yeah, I know the Pacers liked him. They're, they're, you know, they're, their staff liked him. I don't think they had a place for him. Pacers by three. I, I want to see this matchup, because this is the area the Pacers all have to get in. See, he's so long. As he's been inserted into the starting lineup the last seven games, the Pacers have gotten off to some nice starts, and that's a steal by Heal. Here's a three on one, and up in the air, Isaiah Joe got it. Two to four extra free throws a game Easy. with that. Shot clock at four, Brissett down the lane, and stumbled down the lane, and it's picked up by Gilgis Alexander. Which could get the pace the ball. Lindy Waters far. won the tip, SGA has it, he's going to drive. And he got it, first points, second quarter for Gilgis Alexander. That's rust on Buddy's part. And Waters lays it in. He leaves that short. short. Yeah. I mean, he didn't even extend his arm. Gilgis Alexander quickly the other way. You, you can't sleep on this thing. You, you can't sleep on this thing. They, they, they really put you to the test. Wara for three. And one more pass. 56-51, saw a lot of fans walking in with them. One of two twice now. There you see the pace mates. Quinn, I think he, you've said it. He's one of those guys, when you watched him play in college, you didn't realize that he was as big as he is. And it's kept alive by Jackson. Neesmith got it. Neesmith short and rebounded by Jackson. Great effort there. I mean, the fans are applauding. I mean, the Pacers were 6 of 22, only 27%. They've got a four-point lead. War drives baseline. And now Neesmith. To attack the closeout. I mean, that's the play. you got to attack it. If they're coming out at you, you got to make sure they're under control. If they're under control, you shoot it. Goodness gracious. This guy was sideways. Chris, by the time he released the ball. I don't know what his nickname would be if he was a wrestler. Maybe we... Here's Giddy. And that's the first three of the night for Oklahoma City. Warren Just keep it swinging. Getting another start. Yeah, he's earned it. Now Buddy in the corner for three. That might have been... Now a, you got to get back. That might have been an OKC timeout. Yeah, it most certainly would. But they score the other end. I like what they're, they're trying to do. Pretty close. Because I didn't think there's any chance. Warren threw that pass. I didn't think he was going to be anywhere near there. He shot four free throws in the first quarter and really hadn't shot any since then. So we got to keep an eye on that because that gives him rhythm. You would expect Tatum, Giannis, Lillard, Doncic, and Embiid. And yeah, he'll just he's Alexander he's making a name for himself. To your point, the outlier, as you call it. I missed it. Comes out to Gilgis Alexander. This is when he's really tough. Pacers did a great job. Oh, they call a foul. Quarter in the quarter. 
He's had 42 30-point games this year. Now, guys getting numbers. Because getting 40 in this league is, any league is hard. This is very hard. And again, they're number 10, the final play-in spot. One of the best in the NBA when they had Durant, Westbrook, Harden. No question. Wiggins cut off. Alexander, Shea Gilgis Alexander puts it home. Yeah, they're starting to pick it up. And Gilgis Alexander has 28. Yep, five free throws. He's just trying to combat that with his own defense. Gilgis Alexander gets there and draws a foul. And you mentioned it. Uh, we can start. I'll tell you what, what is a little. Um, I, I think people don't realize. You know, he's one of the best rim protectors in the NBA. 93-86 Oklahoma City. Final minute plus of the third quarter. Right into the hands of McConnell. This is a bad matchup here. You got to come. You got to think about double. I'm telling you. Good job. Wiggins moved away from the corner. Otherwise, you had a tough time. Emhart closed out, so there was no easy look by Waters. Brissett. Got his own rebound off the glass, put it up, and draws the foul. The pass was tough to handle. And now Buddy. He hesitated. You, you don't ever see Buddy. No. Because it, there was a little hesitation there. That again tonight, and we're seeing maximum effort from the Pacers here in the fourth quarter. Pacers, oh, they're going to call a foul as Jalen Smith went to block the shot. It was a denary for sure. To our point, we talked about Gilgis Alexander. Four free throws in the first quarter. He's, got, that's his tw well. He's now 12 to 12. Before that free throw, had outscored Oklahoma City 13 to 3 since OKC's last lead, 99-97. If you get there and you don't think you can get in, just drop it off the, the opposition's leg and get out of the way. But you gotta, you got to jump back because sometimes that ball comes back at you hard. Gilgis Alexander banks it in. I mean, unbelievably long. And they've cut it to four. Pacers just led by eight. And that's Gilgis. Yeah, Giddy is the second facilitator for him. I love it. How about three seconds? Well, he was in there a while. Wiggins That hits. is a big no call. He's made 55 of them, so less than one per game. McConnell, short. Gilgis. <laughs> How many rebound assists? He's 8, 12, 8, 21, 8, and 8. Oh, that would have been a big one. He's got five rebounds and three assists in this quarter alone. He'll just Alexander. And he got the foul on Smith. As soon as he starts dribbling the ball and he gets on the other side, I mean, on that up the far side of the half court line. 14 of 14. 15 of 15. Take it to yeah, this is Joe. Where we get to see. And there's and they the foul right away. 37 points, three point Pacers advantage. OKC out of timeouts. You see those free throw numbers 90% on the year. Number six in the NBA, perfect tonight. Pacers have one timeout. TJ second out, but yeah. And Mather and foul. But what I liked about it, Chris. And this one to win it. And that will do it. Don't bother. Whatever they want to do with it. What a heck of a win. Everybody participated in a win. There's no question about it.